Yo, what's going on guys? As I mentioned in the previous video, I'll finally be doing a what's in my box video. Uh, I'm going to try to go over my weapons, some the characters I have, my inventory, stuff like that. So if you have anything that's similar to what I have, tell me what you have in the comments. Um, it's going to be a long video. I'm just giving you guys a warning. I'll try to concise it if possible. Um, I'll try to make it as very concise as I possibly can. However, I ain't making no promises or anything. But let's go to the menu. Um, I think it's best we start at supplies. So let's start from here at the very beginning. Look at the wonders. Now, I've pretty much cleared most of the story. I think I'm at chapter 115. Um, you can see that there's actually a new wonder if you guys um, unlock all the Eternals. It allows you to change your main um, trophy now. So you don't have to use this one anymore. But these are my wonders. I feel, I think I have them all. I could be wrong. I, I, I'm not fully up to date right now with the story mode. I am a chapter or two behind. But these are my wonders, my map pieces, you know, just to use the normal stuff. I don't know if they're going to fill in all five of these, but uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Now, if you look at my treasures here, I, my treasures are pretty kind of low, actually. Um, these are mainly from GW, I believe, right? Most of these here. We got to, I remember the pinwheels being a big thing because you could trade pinwheels for the pots. I don't do that, but you can. I'm too lazy to do it. I, if there was a way I could trade them all in at one time, I would do it. But you got to trade them like every day or something. I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> for what, 10 pots? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I remember this being the, the bane of my existence. Farming the antique cloth. <laughs> I used to hate farming this thing. This was, oh my God. Do tell me how you guys feel about farming this thing. I don't know if they improved it, but I remember doing, um, there was a one quest, right? That cost like 80 stamina. You got like five. Then there was a, then it came out with a new quest. I think it was 70 dash four or something like sub, chapter 70, the fourth stage, something like that. I remember farming that. That was a pain. Uh, what else? Yeah. I feel like there's another really annoying item. I think it's the bullets, right? Is it, is it this one? There was a really annoying item that you needed for your seraphic weapons. I think it was these two. I don't remember too well, but I remember these to be really annoying. Though, with GW, a lot of these items are a lot easier to farm now. Like, I don't actually farm any of these. I get them all from GW, so it's not that bad. I feel like all this stuff is new, though. I don't know any of these items. I'm guessing it's from, like, the newest story maps or something. Hey, like, look at my animas. My animals are not that high. I, I never really care about animals. I don't farm hard. I don't I do not do that. Farming hard is too much work for me, bro. I, whenever it comes to doing like the monotonous like dailies, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want <laughs> to. To keep it real with you guys, I don't want to. I really don't. So I just avoid farming all that. It's been working. I don't have to make any GW characters or anything. And luckily enough, Nothing requires these items right now. I don't do Magnus anymore. So I haven't done Magnus for like a year now. So you can tell that my true animas, <laughs> my light and dark are non-existent, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't really do Magnus too, light and dark. I think honestly, I'd rather just do Primal at this point. I, I'm really considering it. Sadly, I, even though I have Lucifer, I don't have Zeus, so that's not really an option for light. Um, hopefully, we get more free-to-play primal options. Like our, our primal, I don't really want to farm Magnitude Metatron. It's not fun, bro. <laughs> now you can see my Bahamut horns. I don't, I don't even have that many Bahamut horns right here. I only have 337. I would like to mention that I've never seen a Bahamut high-level gold bar, not one. Um, do tell me how many gold bars you guys got from Bahamut high level because I've never seen one I, that it don't exist to me So uh, that's the thing These are my centrums definitely a lot lower because I believe you had to trade some of them in I remember I had like over 5k of the light ones, but whatever this the reason this is so high because back in the day if you guys didn't know Magno um, like Illumini uh, Luminera um, high level was really common for one punching it with sarsa 
So I would do that a lot to farm swords. And it was a very good place to farm my pluses. So if you ever wonder why you have so many pluses, this is why. Because back in the day, I used to farm them from the game. I didn't whale. People think I'm a whale or something. I'm not even close to a whale. I, you guys really underestimate um, or overestimate how much I spend in this game. I really don't spend that much. Um, so I got a lot of it from farming that. My centrums, I feel like they don't ever go down. 135, I don't ever use these things. I did use a couple of them on Lucifer, actually, now I think about it. Um, these are all from Prometheus. I remember because I had to farm Prometheus, uh, her weapon, the prompt stick. So these are all came from Prometheus, honestly. Same thing with Anubis. I farmed Anubis, the, uh, the axe, so that's why. I never really farmed any of the other bosses, so this is all came from, like, Maniacs, I think. Hmm. These animas, right? These came from farming the twigs. I did farm a lot of twigs. Um, I don't remember. I think I farmed a lot of the fists too. Mackie fists. I think I did farm quite a bit of them. All the others, I didn't really farm. I farmed a little bit of Cortanas. Neza, I don't even remember farming this one. And Apollo, I didn't farm for nothing, so. I don't, oh, this is for Grand Order, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I rarely do Grand Order. I have a couple Grand Order hosts, but I don't, I don't really farm Grand, Grand Order. It's no point. Now, these all came from Ultimate Bahamut, honestly. That's, that's like the best way to get the animas from my experience, just doing Ultimate Bahamut. I know people complain, right, about farming the animas from the raid, because the raids aren't very common. So if you're really struggling, just do normal Ultimate Bahamut. High level works too. Any ultimate Bahamut you can get into, this will get you done really fast. I don't recommend, I never recommend farming the actual raid itself. This farm ultimate Bahamut, you're going to end up needing all these anyway. Athena. Oh, that reminds me. I remember when this first came out, I think ultimate Bahamut first came out and I traded all my stuff for Odin. <laughs> I think I traded for 40 of Odin and I didn't have anything else for the other, the other, um, items like, uh, Light, Leech and, uh, Val, Athena, who's, who's this again? Uh, what her name? Granny? There we go. Granny and Garda. Gardua? Yeah, I think so. I never, I never had enough of them. Now these are all came from, uh, Rose Queen. Um, with Rose Queen, I actually got... A lot of these because I was farming for the trade in. I don't really have any weapons to trade for, so these items are kind of useless. I wish they gave them some value though. The, the, I feel like there's some items they give value to, and there's some items in the game that has no value. Like a lot of these items, I have a lot of them, but they, they just have no value. They don't do anything. The more we go down, you got the more you'll see that I have a lot of items that I just don't use. These are all animals from the raids. I mean, I think you could trade the animals for a weapon if I remember correctly. Uh, Ultimate Bahamut here. I think I do an Ultimate Bahamut train. I'm out of host for Ultimate Bahamut. Now you guys can see my um, Ultimate Bahamut Ultima units. Now I only have 1,000. I still have a lot more, but I do make a lot of Ultima weapons. I like changing them out whenever I get bored of it. Or somebody usually recommends me to make something for YouTube or something. So because of that, I ended up making a lot of Ultima weapons. I haven't made one in a while though. It's been like three months, I think, since the last time I made one. Maybe, yeah, three months, I believe. <laughs> now we're at my magnitude farming. Now you, you, you can just take a quick, well, a quick glance to see which one I farmed the most. <laughs> it's your girl, <laughs> Alex. Living, I lived in that raid. I just had really bad luck with her. I don't know why. I think I ended up at like 1.8k or something in terms of animas, and then I had to um, fully break the weapons. I didn't have good luck with her at all. All the other ones I had like average luck, but Alex was just rough. Grimnir, I had pretty good luck, pretty good luck. But Alex, I don't know, man. She just she screwed me over. Now you can see that I have a lot for Avatar. I've been waiting to flimmer break Avatar's staff, but I just never got around to trading for it. I've been waiting to do it, but I just never got around to doing it. Now we're at the point here where we're looking at the uh, the host mats. I kind of wish they made them a lot easier to host. Like I, I don't get any of these mats at all. Like I wish they, they were able to get from um, 
what's it called? The, um, I don't remember the name of it. GW, there you go. The GW box, I would they would put these in a GW box because they'd be very valuable, but I, I guess they didn't do it. You can see here that I have not farmed the new How Long in Kirin yet. Um, I've only done one run, and I did the one run I did was the run I did blind that I soloed it. <laughs> I've only done one run of it so far, so I have a host, I believe. Uh, when, when we scroll down, you'll see it, but I believe I have a host, so maybe I'll do it some other time. Now we have my, uh, I have a lot of these from Angel Halo. Angel Halo sucks. And I feel like I still have to do more Angel Halo for the new Akasa weapons. Man, I wish they change Angel Halo up, bro. I wish they do. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like all this stuff here, this is the, like the, what I'm talking about while well, having all these items. I don't feel like I use any of them. Like, I really don't, but I wish they gave them a little bit more value. We're looking at you merits, like these merits. Oh my God, I have so many of these things. Uh, I don't use them for anything. And yeah, I do have a host for Kieran How Long. I may do a train before GW, but uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Oh, right. These are what you use to trade in for the weapons, right? I haven't done that yet. I could probably trade in for one of the weapons, I think. Um, the skills. I don't remember needing any of them, though. No, these are all from the, um, uh, the How Long and Karen's I've done. I actually don't have that many bar drops from How Long and Karen. I think I only have two. Two bar drops, I believe. So, I wish I would have more, but, you know, I'm not that lucky with it. Oh, well. Oh, well. No, these are my stones. My weapon stones are really low. Cause I, I really only make weapon stones when I need them. I have tons and tons of gotcha weapons, but I only make the stones when I need them. If not, I just put them in inventory. Now you guys can see my uh, elements. <laughs> well, my quartz, I believe. I think these are called elements. No, these are stones, okay. So these are my quartz. Um, this pretty much only goes up based on GW and then it drops for the next GW. Like, I'm working on light and stuff right now, so. That's why it dropped. I don't have anything really from Magna Dark anymore. I don't really run Magna Dark. I'm, I'm trying to, to use Hades, though Hades is inferior in some ways. So that's a problem. Hopefully, the new Fallen Sword, Full Limit Break, brings life into Dark. Um, cause I need it. I will be Full Limit Breaking it. So, I'll probably do a video on that day one. Cause I will be Full Limit Breaking it day one. Uh, I think these are what you use to hold the Primark Rage, right? Yeah. What, what are these? I don't even know what the halos are for. What, what are these? Halos. I I don't I don't know what these are. I forgot. Anyone in the, in the chat can tell me, or in the description, or <laughs> the description, in the comment section can tell me what these are. But I honestly don't remember what they are, bro. Oh, these are from Arkham right here. So you can, you can see that my spread is really heavily towards water and wind because I don't have much investment in them. I invested in fire and earth the most. So that's why they are, have a little bit lower and light and dark is really hard to get. Light and dark are really, really rare. So you can see that I've been farming star the most because um, we do have a light GW coming up in about a month or two. So I'm trying to prepare for light GW because I feel like light can really use the increased damage so that's my current goal at the moment um dark is meh i, I could just run a kirin bow so it won't be that bad i think after i make star i'll be working on the moon next so that's my current goal now these are <laughs> you get so many of these items like i wish i could trade them in because this, this is the true gate right here. This, uh, this stone right here, the true, the true gate when it comes to making Arc Room summons. These are my GW character items, all this stuff here. And I'm guessing these are just farmable maps, I believe, from like the story events. Usually they clear them out whenever a, a, like a event gets a rerun, they'll clear them out. Or if the event becomes a side story, they clear them out. So they just stay here, like these items here, just stay here. Kind of what they remove them because it makes your inventory list really long. 
I remember this this was from the first event I played in the game. It was the Street Fighter event. I kind of missed that event. It was really cool. It was a collab. So you got these from playing Street Fighter event. Hopefully they have like another fighting game collab. Maybe like Blaze Blue or something. That'd be nice. Um, these are my uh what are these? Ifrit and everything. Ifrit. I think don't have that many Ifrit. I didn't really farm Ifrit that much. I farmed for I uh, farmed Kyokito a lot. I didn't really enjoy it though. The, the main reason I farmed it a lot because it was really easy to kill. A little bit of Earth. I remember killing it really fast. So if it was really annoying, I believe that. Well, I think I did farm Ifrit a lot. I'm, I'm lying to you. I must have traded in for Ifrit a lot. I think I got lucky with this one. Same thing with uh, Diablo. I got really lucky with Diablo. Cerberus and Fenrir, everybody's favorite bosses. <laughs> I think don't have that much because I ended up trading a lot of my items for them. And I haven't farmed these bosses in a very long time. I don't even do their maniacs. I don't feel like it. These are co-op items. And these are my uh, current, um, what do they call it again? Distinctions? There we go, yeah. And you guys can see my moons. So right now, I currently have 52 bronze moons, uh, 24 silver moons, and 111 gold moons. Now, my gold moons, I do believe I'm making a 100 gold moon weapon. I just haven't decided yet. I'm waiting to see when like, the hardest raid comes out before I make a weapon. Um, I said no by the anniversary, what weapon I'm making. And these are just my, my Damascus items and stuff. The crystals and the grain and the pins. <laughs> I actually got the pins for one GW because I was desperate. I didn't really have anything else to get. I think it was a fire GW, to be honest. But I had, I had a lot of fire elements already, so I didn't really need it. Okay. Well, that's everything for my items. And we're already 17 minutes into this video. Golly, man, it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> now, consumable consumables. Um, you can see my pots are kind of low. I don't have that many. Currently, I don't have that many. I need to farm pots, but I don't feel like doing it. Same thing with my BP. My BP is not that high. Um, my bars. Now, you're probably wondering why I have so many of this bar. So when Arkham first got announced, I believe one of the Arkham summons required like a hundred of these items. So ever since then, I've been trading for them just in case they try to screw over players again. Cause one of the items did require this item and you needed like a, a lot of them. So I keep a lot of them just in case I ever need to trade for it. The same thing with my silver bars. I keep a lot just in case I ever need to trade for them. Currently I have three gold bars chilling. Um, I'm not, I'm not really lucky with gold bars. These are all from like GW and, and um, GW and uh, what's the other thing? Celestials. So if anybody was wondering, you got that many gold bar drops? No, I don't. Oh, and the, uh, and the um, what we just had, the, the live stream. There you go. So I, I don't have luck with gold bars, so calm down. I must get bars, I tap chilling. Right now I'm just waiting to bar Dark, Dark Angel Olivia's weapon. That's about it. My sunstones, I don't have any, um, yeah, sunstones, yeah. These are moonlight, right? Yeah. I don't have any sunstones, I'm out. I had to use them all on Lucifer, so I'm out for now. Oh well. I think these are books, right? You use these un uncapped characters and stuff, but I never use them. Um, I kind of wish they had one for SSR though. SSR can use that a lot. It'll make the, um, the full mid breaks a little bit easier to uncap. These are my rings currently. You see that I have not used any of these rings yet. Uh, I don't have any units that I feel that requires these rings right now in the game. So I don't really use them. That's how I feel about them. And my red rings, I, just, I don't have any unit that needs it right now. I kind of ring the unit based on the content. I can always, I can always ring units based on like when I do a showcase on them, but I don't see a point of it. Because then it makes some units look better than other units and stuff like that. Are better than they should be because maybe not you won't have the same roles I have on the unit that are optimal or maybe I don't have the optimal roles on the unit and stuff 
There's a lot of factors that I have to deal with, and I'd rather not deal with it at all. Now we're gonna look at my weapons. This is gonna, this, man, this is gonna be a long video, bro. Holy crap. So my weapons are all over the place. We're gonna go from the highest level and we're gonna go down. Now, um, the 200 weapons, I leveled them up because I was bored. I had so much fodder laying around. I was like, any level weapons. So you got my maxed out Oliver. You got the sword master weapon. I think I meant the class sword master, right? I think. No, glory bringer. There we go. That's what it's called. <laughs> um, then we have team out weapons. I ended up fully breaking these weapons because I was bored. I just happened to have a lot of mats and I was like, guns are good. Time to boost my guns up. <laughs> uh, I made this staff near Nirvana because it was good for water. It's not a bad weapon though, but this ball kind of power crept it. So the weapon is useless now. If this ball was not so overpowered, then maybe this would be a little bit better. But with the ball, Dragon Ball just completely power crept it. Now we have the um, Necromancer weapon. Light, huh, I probably would have changed the element on it. I don't think it's that great on light, to be honest. I kind of got brought in by the hype for light. I don't think it's that good. Water Kango weapon, um, I would have made this earth, to be honest. I don't think it's that good on water. Water doesn't have enough base damage to make this weapon viable. I think it's better on earth, personally, in my opinion. My mergs, um, I only have three. I actually have a fourth one. But I don't need, I don't see a reason to make the fourth one. So that's why I just, I just have it chilling. Got my Dragon Ball. I want more balls, but I don't, I don't pull any balls. So what can you do? Now I ended up making the Eternal Love not too long ago. I made it because of the fact that Wind would running into race problems where I had three races and running up behind it was too hard. So I made this weapon work pretty well. Now before the Ifrit Axe ever came out. The, this was the main axe for fire, Yule's axe. It gave double attack up. I made this weapon. It got power crept by the Ifrit axe, and I hate Saigon for it. Because this weapon literally just got completely power crept. I'll even show it to you, bro. It's like, it's like, comp, like the Ifrit axe is better than it in every way, bro. And I'm very mad that they haven't changed this weapon up, or at least, like, come on, made it better. The free to play option is better than it. My Bahamut. Now, Graham, you may be wondering why I made Graham. I made Graham because I was really, 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 really hoping that it was going to get Trivium. Uh, but it didn't. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. It didn't get Trivium. All right. I didn't get lucky there. A Bahamut Katana. I made it to meme to give my um, Earth a little bit more multi-attack rate. I didn't really use it much. I, I made it for GW, to be precise, if you're wondering. How long Katana? Uh, not that great. I made it for a meme. Now, this is my Gunslinger weapon. I had this for a long time. Um, hopefully, it come out with EX2 Gunslinger. I will just upgrade this weapon. Now, this was back when Bahamut High Level was a thing. Uh, I used it a little bit for Bahamut High Level prior to Zoe. It was okay. But when Zoe came out, I pretty much killed the weapon because you was able to cap um, at low health consistently because of Zoe. Um, before then, you didn't really cap at full health, so you would force use this weapon to cap, but Zoe killed that weapon, rest in peace. So I made another Oliver. I made a Fire Oliver because I use Esther a lot, and because I use Esther, why not make an Oliver for her? Now this is my, um, what class did I name the class again? I don't, a oh, Rune Slayer, there we go. My Rune Slayer weapon. I made it wind. I would have made it fire if I knew it would be so much better on fire. I regret that, to be honest. It's not that bad on wind though, to be honest. This weapon is not bad on wind at all. It's just that I don't see a point of playing wind with the weapon. I, I don't see a point of it. Cause I don't play wind right now. It works fine on wind though. Just, just in case anybody's wondering, it's just that you need Shiva. That's the one problem with this weapon is that you need Shiva on wind. I don't have it right now. Um, these are just basic weapons, celestial weapons. So I made the Berserker Axe because somebody maybe uh, somebody asked me to make it on a video. That's why I made one. It's not bad though. I also made it because I broke my ultimate sword for wind, and I needed a main hand for wind. My guns, the Kirin weapon, my my katana. If you notice that I only have two, my third katana is two star. I need one more. Never went back to farm it though because I don't care. I have enough health. Uh, my Bahamut weapon, Europa Harp. I need another one. 
but I only farmed one. Kieran, this weapon I wanted to full limit break it, uh, or ultra limit break it, actually. Haven't done it yet though. This is why this is why I mentioned that I have to do a train so I can ultra limit break this weapon for uh, the next GW. My Fenrir bows, you probably noticed my third bow is gone. I don't use three bows anymore. I have too many Murrays in my pool, so three bows are dead to me. I'd never run double Varna. The only time you ever run double, the only time you run three bows is when you run double Varna. So I, I don't see a point in running that. My axes from Alex, they cost me my heart and my soul to farm. Now you may notice here I have a lot of full break guns. I have two here and I have two behind here. These weapons I made because I didn't have a lot of luck with light, so I ended up making them. I keep these weapons because they're really good for Sarsa. They make Sarsa ultra viable and um, Arkham. So these weapons are very, very good weapons. I'm, I'm actually very happy I made them because they make um, Sarsa have a lot of HP for free. Because they end up giving her large. Very happy with these weapons. My Zeno Katana, I um, only have one. I think. Uh, it's okay. My Geno Blade, only have one. I, I had two different axes, so I didn't see a point of farming any more of these katanas. They only give like a like 20 attack or more or something. I don't care. My Gisela for my Hades. I have three. Um, hopefully, Stamina Dark becomes a thing. And then I could use two of them for my Dark team and then try to throw in more Fallen Swords. If not, oh well. My Irfid axes, the bad boys I worked really hard to get. <laughs> I'm very happy with them. They're cool. They worked for me. They did really well for me. My Zeno staff, I've only used one of them. Yeah. I've, I've always been Varina, so I never had to really worry about making two of them. I know Leviathan had to make two of them, but I didn't have to worry about it. The same thing with my uh, Zeno uh, Koro sword. It's not bad, right? But it's like I didn't really need it. So Now, this weapon I made for uh, Granny. The granny weapon, the granny bow. I made it for like a quick one turn burst thing. It's really good for bony toe. My step swords, I have a lot of them. They were, they were light. I still use them on light to be honest. So <laughs> they they work perfectly fine. Magnitude is cool and all, but eh, don't care. I, I like the health. Mashing with full health is really nice. My yig swords, I still use them still. When I don't run, um, when I run Earth off element for like Akasha, I have to use the swords instead of uh, the stamina axes. So they, they do okay. This spear, I made it for my fire because Esther and Anilla needed a spear weapon. And I, they, they, they such a strong combo for fire that I had to make it. Yig weapon, this is just from Amidi. Uh, Zeno weapon because it's really strong sword. Cerberus guns. Now these weapons are outdated. I don't use I don't use them anymore. Um, Cerberus guns. They, they don't offer enough raw damage for me to run them for the, the triple attack because Dark has enough triple attack right now and multiple multi attack actually. Dark has enough of that, so eh, don't need it. They still equipped it though. Uh, I think they used for memes. Uh, this 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 weapon was pretty okay. Um, it's the attack on Titan sword. It, it was a good option for free to play if you didn't have the Ultima sword. Team Hot Fist, I used it for like a main hand sometimes, but other than that, I really don't use it. Kieran weapon, I don't use it at all. The Vols um, guns, I use these for Sarsa health. It's to give her more health so that she can uh, um, ground zero easier. Suzaka weapon, Leviathan. This is an event weapon, it's not that good though. My claws this is for my dark. Um, I don't know why I still have them here. This is another uh, weapon from the the token Rambu event. Yeah, Grimnir's weapon here. It's okay. I made one spear because I, I needed a weapon for Spartan. It's not a bad weapon though. Diablo bows. These are for Lunalu health. Lunalu needs health as well as Sarsa because I run them in correlation together. So I made two um, Diablo bows to boost Luna Lu's health. Zeno spear. I only made one of these. I actually regret making not making two of them. But now I don't need two of them. But back then when people ran um, a lot of guns, two of these was actually really good because so many guns hurt your overall max health damage. And you didn't really have a way to lower your health on Earth. I mean on Earth, on Wind. 
Now we have Grimnir, um, Grimnir Harps, which are pretty cool weapons. I don't think they're that bad, actually. I like them a lot, so. My three harps. The stats are a little bit low, though, but stamina, crit, trunk combo. Another Fenrir bow. Um, this, this is my last bow, if you're wondering. Don't have equipped it, though, as you can tell. This is another Xeno weapon for Earth. I sometimes run two of them when I do off element things. Colossus Cane, I run it for main hand sometimes for like Necromancer and stuff. Uh, the bow weapons one is for crit and one is for damage cap. Same thing for here, Celestial weapons, damage cap, Gamble Fist. Um, I don't use it nearly as much as I used to back in the day. It's still a cool weapon, 33% or I think 42 on double burn now. Not a bad weapon, but. It's, it's, it, it, the, the loss of your charge bar speed does hurt now a lot more than it used to. Suzaka weapon, the lower the health bar of your second teammate. Okay. Now, this is the new weapon that we got from the um, pr uh, Proving Grounds, I believe. It does increase the fire cap, the damage cap on fire. I only made one of them, though. I was going to make more, but I didn't really feel like it, to be honest. I just made one. 15% is good enough for me. Cause I already had like the fire pool is already getting really tight, so I don't really have a lot of space to be dropping more weapons in there. Now we have the Ultima gun here. Now you probably don't see me use it much, but this is my water Ultima gun. Um, I'm gonna end up breaking this weapon now when I make the Ultima blade water. I believe we're getting a new Ultima weapon, so that's cool. Now we have the my other Ultima weapon, which is my Ultima sword. You pretty much see this all the time. <laughs> my Earth one, I, pretty much very common. Then we got my third Ultima weapon, my Ultima Fist. My Fire one, I actually like this one a lot. Um, I may change it out though. Um, probably a different element. I, I want to keep it Fist though, but I'll change it to a different element. Now we have John's weapon. You're probably wondering why did I full limit break John's weapon? It's because, no, full limit break it. Max uh, start it and max level it. Just for more health. I ended up having a lot of these, so I was like, why not combine them, get more health out of it. I actually have another copy too, laying around. So I can actually break this weapon in case I ever need sword stones for some peculiar reason. Here's another Oliver. Uh, I made the Oliver for wind. So I have three Olivers, one for dark, one for fire, one for wind. Battle weapons, I never fully break them. I didn't use Titan no more. Seraphic weapons, more battle weapons, GW daggers. DW Fist that I've used to meme. Cortanas, good old Cortanas. So we're coming to the end of it now in terms of like all the stuff. This is more Diablo weapons for more health on dark, for one turning and stuff. Now we've got my twigs here. I have a lot of twigs. Um, this one's not max level yet. These are six of them. Then we got my Gilgamesh weapon. Didn't max level it yet. Rackham's gun, don't use it. I only use it for my main hand for fire. I'm thinking about making an ultimate gun for fire though. So that it, it would help a lot to have the ultimate gun for fire. Now you can see more of my grand series weapons here. Um, we got my, my fallen sword, which I do plan on max limit breaking. Um, so expect this to be a video quick. So the moment that comes out, we, we have Vera's weapon, which Vera's weapon got skipped. I found that to be a little bit weird. Um, her weapon is something. Uh, it depends. Her weapon could be okay, but I don't think it's be that great though. Light already has two great weapons as is, so it'd be surprised if they get three godlike weapons. Like that'd be something. Now we have a reunion here. Um, let's see this weapon. So, a uh, Eden. I really want to do light, um, whale light, but I uh, haven't done it yet. Now we have one of the Akasa weapons. I have one of them now. I am still trying to farm all of them. So do give me time. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. No bully. Uh, I think that's about it in terms of weapons. So now we're gonna go to summons. Um, look at my summons really quick. Uh, it's cause this video is gonna be really long by the way. I'm actually gonna break it up in two parts so you guys know. I'm going to do another video on characters and outfits and stuff like that. So because this video is going to be really, really long. There's a lot of stuff in this game to go over. So in case people want to know. 
Now you can see my, my full limit break summons are Bahamut, Tiamat, Athena, Apollo, Yggdrasil, uh, Colossus, uh, Luminera, Lucifer, Diablo. Diablo, I made this really early on because I wanted a stat, a stat stick because I didn't really have any full limit break summons early on. Gilgamesh, uh, the whale, uh, Typhoon, or Typhon, my fault. Thor, Hangman, Sun, Bony Tail, which I've still not level 150 yet. And that's it. I haven't full limit break Celeste yet, but I use Mac, I use Hades, so. And I have Bahamut, so I didn't really see a point of doing it. Uh, I have every other mag that doesn't know. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't have Leviathan either. Yeah, because I have Bony Tail and Varuna, so there's no point in me having Leviathan. So Celeste and Leviathan are the ones I do not have done yet. Now, I don't plan on doing them. You can see I still have my Titan here. Um, I actually use Titan more for a, a call effect than I use it for anything else. Uh, I don't really use Titan that much. It's like, I have, like, Yig Magnet is so good. I don't really see a point of running Titan, so that's why. And my Titan is free to play, so it's not that great. Free to play Titan, not that good. Got my Varuna here. I've been going places with Varuna. You'll, you'll see more about my Varuna love, but Varuna... I don't know, that woman loves me or something. Got my Kaguya. I ended up max unbinding my Kaguya because I, was, <laughs> I didn't have any good summons. I was like, you might as well use some stones for something. Bell ringer, ring, ring, ring. <laughs> you got this from the event. I think the Saddle Rest event, so pretty cool. Then we have this one from the Sakura event. Now my Anubis, I actually wanted to full limit break it. I think I am actually. And full limit break Anubis so I can get more so I can have the Bunkle for GW, I think I'll do it. It only needs one stone. I think I could trade for a stone. That's an option. Or I can um, get a stone from Arkham. You can tell that I still have yet to do my Kieran and my How Long for Max on Bond yet. Haven't got around to farming them yet. I need to get to it. Uh, maybe when I do a train, I'll get the Max on Bond. I heard the drop rates are really high in the raids. So that's what I'm looking for. You can see my Hades still there. Um, I have never, I always had Bahamut. I've never uh, maximized my Hades yet. I think it got Bahamut after Hades, funny enough. So that's a thing. My Vortex Dragon, <laughs> uh, my Wind Bunkle, my Fire Bunkle, my Light Bunkle. I don't have stones for them, so I need dupes to unbind them. Then we got my first Primarch, which is Michael. Hopefully, I'm looking to get uh, Gabriel when she comes out. It'd be very nice if I get Gabriel. I, I like water. I like the water characters, Europa, Gabriel. They're cute. So it would make me very happy to get them. And you can see another Vortex Dragon there. Going for that Max Unbind Vortex Dragon. Dark Angel, Olivia, Granny. Then we have a bunch of free summons and stuff that nobody cares about. Now, I have another Athena here. Uh, just there. Just chilling. You see, these are from the last GW, the, the win one, but I haven't really done anything about it yet. We got a grand order here. I'm actually thinking about wanting to stone grand order. I haven't decided yet, but I'm really hoping for grand order to finally get her full limit break. And if she does, I'll stone her. Now, as I mentioned with Varna, I go back with Varna. You can see that my luck with Varna is pretty high. I've pulled about six or seven Varunas now. I don't know why I keep pulling Varuna. I, I even pulled Varuna from our friend before on his account. So my luck with Varuna is really, 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 really high. I don't know why, but it is. It's how it is. <laughs> it's really weird. Got another Gilgamesh, a Hector. I think that my Hector would be um, one star. So I need two more Hectors and I'll be able to max and mine it. So I'm hoping that I get that a couple more of those. These are the free summons and some pretty garbage ones. Speaking of garbage, look at the snow, right? Snow White is right there, but watch this. There's two more. I, I, just, I don't know why I keep rolling Snow White. I think I'm actually going to max unbind her if I get one more copy, which is kind of weird. I think her call effect's not bad though. Uh, oh, sleep on it. Oh, never mind. It's pretty bad. I thought it'd be better than that. Oh, well. Well, those are my summons. Um, do leave in the comments what you guys have. For your people who have Siva URL, 
Lucky. Y'all lucky. Congrats. I don't. <laughs> Hopefully the free rolls bless me and I'm able to get it. Hopefully. If not, oh well. I'm used to it. Um, part two would be my characters, my outfits. I think I'm forgetting one more thing. Um, I guess my stash. Uh, I think that's it, right? The, the characters a lot though, because if you guys didn't know, I'll give you guys a little glimpse of my characters. So though. I got 424, so I got a lot of characters to go over. So that'll be fun, that'll be a fun time. Well, I'll try to talk about the characters I use, when I use them, how I use them. So the ones I like at least, so that's, and my costumes, so. That's a little sneak preview. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Um, this will be part two of this. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.